What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. I know I'm in my room, super odd scene for the videos, but this is Nori in the future, basically telling you guys that the giveaway for the M3 is gonna be announced at 4.30 Pacific Eastern time on my Instagram account. So if you guys are not following me on my Instagram, make sure you go check out my Instagram, it's linked down below at 4.30 Pacific Eastern time. I'm gonna go live and select the winner for the M3. So make sure to set your alarms guys, because uh, it's gonna go crazy. Anyway, let's get back into the video. Yeah. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Never gets old y'all Oh shit Oh speak of the devil <laughs> That's your head <laughs> Damn Oh well uh, that's my brother's hood We were waiting on that but I guess not Let me just throw on my shoe I guess so my brother's hood already came in there you go. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. Yeah, that's perfect timing. We can finally get his car together. So let's go ahead and load that into the van. Jonathan's this here too because of my birthday yesterday. Things just line up in life, which is super nice. So it is perfect timing. Let's just load it up. Uh, shit. We need to open it. I think we're gonna need to open it. Yep, we're gonna have to check it out. <laughs> Got it. Oh, 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 hold up, y'all. Y'all need to hold the hell up. <laughs> I saw the hood coming from me. I'm like, oh, hell no. All right, guys, so we finally got our brother's hood. It's all loaded up. I'm holding off to this box. We're about to go out and get something to eat, but that's sick. Oh, it's time for some Chipotle. They've been on the stove day. So while this thing just continues to go up, we got Jonathan chilling like a villain. How much gas did you have in your car? How much gas did you have? I had less than a quarter. Yeah, same. I think I had like a, I have an eight. Thank you. Did you have an eighth or not? Uh, no. A little more than that? I was, I was pretty much out. I wasn't going to make it down to the shop and back, so got to fill up. Are you vlogging? That was vlogging? <laughs> what? So I'm going to go ahead, go inside. I don't know if I'm going to get the bowl of the burrito. We'll see. We'll see. But um, regardless, it's going to be some good stuff. The last one. I have to take it. Guys, this place is packed. Damn. Chipotle, damn! Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Sonic, we're keeping it, we're keeping it under 60. So we are heading out right now to the shop, catch you guys there. All right guys, so we've officially made it to the shop. At this point, I'm just waiting on Jonathan and the yacht, and then uh, I'll start loading up the hood into the garage. It's gonna be pretty crazy. I'll finally wanna put the hood on my brother's car and get it towed, or probably we drive around the block to a local body shop, and hopefully they can fix my brother's car ASAP so we can start piecing it back together, and hopefully we'll have a running car for my brother. I'm super hyped for that. But anywho, we're just waiting on uh, Johnny and the yacht. I'm just chilling. Looks like John's here because the cars are out, and uh, I'll catch you guys in a second. Looks like the boys are here, We're about to unload the hood. Bro, I've been chilling here for like seven, eight minutes. We hit every single red light. Literally every single red light. Guys, check it out. The two lifts. We got John working on his 328. We're about to be working on our 328. Shoo! We're about to have 328s running by the end of the day. <laughs> Anywho, um, so yeah, you guys know a quick little update is that this is the only damage. We actually have the new part. Uh, we're all, all we're gonna do today, honestly, is just put on the new hood and drive around the corner. And hopefully that the body shop right on the corner can work on it. We have the headlights, we have the radio support, we have everything, including the bumpers. So we have legit everything. We're gonna take another body shop and hopefully everything's gonna be good to go. So I think at this point, let's put on the hood. And then after that, um, oh, we're gonna to charge the battery. And then uh, we're just gonna start getting all the parts that we need and take it out of the body shop. All right, guys, so we got all the screws off this hood that was pretty much holding it all down, pretty much. Um, so we gotta go ahead and find out where all the screws are for this stuff, because I have no idea. We have the hood on, so we just went ahead and installed the hood. There's not really much to it. It's missing these two little grill sections here. Um, so we got to figure out you know, what we'll put instead. Oh, damn, that does not sound good. So this is made out of fiberglass. The shape is not perfect. They're gonna have to like pretty much fix this up and uh, you know, pretty much pretty much make it and mold it to the car, which is unfortunate. So this is the body shop's gonna have to deal with this before they paint it. In terms of the hood latches, they actually went in, but usually there's like a plastic piece that goes around it that clips in right here, and unfortunately there's no hole for that. Same goes for even the, the hood shocks. There's nowhere to even put the hood shocks. So we're gonna have to drill some holes and make this stuff work. At least the primary things, the necessity stuff is all already pre-drilled, so that's good. So yeah, M3 style hood. So go ahead and fix all that. Anyways, the yacht is uh, putting together the front bumper. Um, we're gonna actually have to take it out of the shop and get up to drill out the holes for the sensors. So we have the brackets for the sensor holes, and then we also have the sensors as well. We went ahead and purchased all that. We have the expansion tank, the front pillar piece, radiator support, 
fender, um, crash bar, all those stuff, even the two headlights, the two headlights which are right there. So you have everything they need to pretty much fix that damage right there and realign everything for us, which is gonna be nice. But again, my brother's just finishing up piecing out the bumper and then we're done for that for now. And now we have everything loaded up to the car. The car will leave it trickering overnight, trickling, so the battery's fully charged by tomorrow morning, hopefully. Um, so meantime, meantime, let's go ahead and head out. We're gonna get some parts for Jonathan's 135. Um, his, his FR module, we installed it in the last video, but he needs to be coated. And at the same time, we need some vacuum hoses. We need to get some vacuum hoses, code the car. Let me go wash my hands and let's head out. Ah, is this an M1? A 1M? <laughs> Damn. It's definitely we got M badges fine. everywhere. I'm just kidding. Check engine light. But it does have a check engine for misfire. Damn. It'd be like that though. Hey, at least your windows are working. Well, that side works, but I, I can't control it. You don't need the driver's one. You don't need the driver's one, right? <laughs> you just got a horn. You just use that one. God oh, damn. <laughs> damn, you really don't care. <laughs> I'm not low. I know. Shoo. So what happens is when I like press on the gas, kind of like floor it, not really floor it, floor it, but like give more than 50% gas, it does that thing where it just has like, it loses all boost. Ah. We're here at AutoZone. Um, we're basically trying to get some vacuum hoses for Jonathan's car. So yeah, we just need some vacuum hoses and hopefully we can fix his boost leak. And at the same time, we just need a spark plug or an ignition coil to figure out what's going on with his uh, misfire. So they didn't have a hose for Jonathan. Yeah, I got some oil, pretty cheap, so we're gonna use it for his car uh, another day. Unfortunately, we can't do the vacuum hose thing. We're gonna see what the misfire is. I mean, at least we can fix whatever the misfire is. Guys, it's misfiring so bad now. So Jonathan bashed on it. And now it's misfiring, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, figure out what it is exactly. I'm gonna get my Carly adapter. It's more of actually misfiring. Just doing a quick little diagnostic with Carly. Should tell us what's exactly going on with the motor right now. Uh, obviously we know something's wrong with Jonathan's modules, but right now with the engine motor, it's saying misfire in cylinder five. So five, dude, this was my ignition coil. They go out on cylinder five. Really? Yeah, like I almost 100% guarantee it. it was in my 128, exact same spot. Me and my brother are about to head out. We'll catch you guys tomorrow when we're back over here at the shop. Uh, we're pretty much gonna come back here tomorrow to get my brother's car towed away. Meantime, we gotta head over. We gotta do some studying tonight. We got a long day of school tomorrow. It is what it is. Catch y'all tomorrow. All right, guys, it's actually two days later. Uh, pretty much just finished up all my classes two days in a row. Oh, it's been one hell of a week. Um, we got a lot of things going on, but I gotta head to the shop right now. We're gonna hopefully get the car towed away hopefully get the repairs done. So let's head to the shop right now. It's about a 30 minute drive and finally get this frame fixed. Guys, I normally call AAA because they take about like two to three hours to come pick up the car. They already called me saying they're 10 minutes away. So luckily I'm on the way, I'm about 10 minutes out. So if she gets there, I'll be like, yo, gotta wait like a minute or two. Uh, but yeah, thankfully they're gonna be there. As soon as they get there, we're gonna load up the car, take it down to the body shop. Some pretty exciting stuff here. We got everything we're gonna load up on the car. So pretty much, we're just gonna give her the keys. I'm gonna give her the car. We're gonna get it down to the body shop, get the frame fixed, and then we're gonna we're gonna start the build on this bad boy. We just we just need that frame pillar fixed. Once that gets fixed, it's gonna be insane. All right, guys, we are pulling up to the garage right now. Let's hopefully the AAA truck is there. I'm not too sure. We're about to find out. Yep, AAA truck is definitely there. Okay, it's in there. Yeah, I'll bring it. It drives out. It just the whole front end is all gone. So you want, you want me to just pull up and you pull up behind me? Oh, that works. Yeah. Okay, I'll pull up there. Perfect. Thank you. All right, guys, 4:35 is here, chilling. Tow truck's here. Let's go ahead and just get the 320 out of here. Hey, John, are you there? We're shaking, bacon. We'll finally get this piece of shit out of here. <laughs> you see the tow truck waiting? That's for us. Finally, dude. Let's go ahead and get the keys. Let's get out of here. Guys, finally, finally. I'm so excited. Finally, my brother's car. All right, guys. So the car is finally getting loaded up. So hopefully, it should be getting fixed soon. This should be pretty crazy. Just like that, guys. Car, say goodbye. My brother's car is gonna come back. Hopefully, the whole front end is painted. Whole front end is put back together. Shout out to her, she's super chill. She, does, she actually tows a lot of other YouTubers' cars. She towed like Big Mike and a few other YouTubers that I actually knew, which is kind of crazy. So she's super chill. Um, she saw the E36 M3, I told her that's a giveaway car. She saw this car. And uh, yeah, she's actually thinking about starting a YouTube channel herself. So it's kind of crazy who you ran into, but super chill person. Now we're just, we're just chilling. We're just, we're just, uh, what's, go, what's going on here, dude? Like, why am I? <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> Are you stealing my dip? <laughs> Don't, don't worry about it. He's don't a worry dip about collector. It. Don't worry about it. <laughs> right, guys, anyway, I actually got to head out. I, I, I already got to go. It, it was nice knowing you, bro. So I actually got to head out right now. We're going to go renew my driver license. So yeah, your, man's, your man finally turned 22 and his driver license expired. So peace out. Damn. <laughs>
<laughs> that is the coolest tow truck driver I've ever seen in my life. Me wife here reminding me my license expired. I actually got pulled over by the cops yesterday. I left the auto mall, my license expired, and, he, and then he came up to me for suspicious behavior. And then I gave him a license, and my, he's like, yo, you know your license expired, right? And I'm like, yeah, but I wasn't driving it, so I don't think he, he was gonna give me any trouble for it. But yeah, I wanna, uh, see, so yeah, me wife, you reminded me, I gotta get my license before something something bad happens. Let's go get it, let's go get it. All right, guys, car is chilling. Let's go ahead and get this license renewed. So stupid, why does your license have to expire? And then when it expires, you actually can't, you can't actually get your car towed for driving on an expired license. Like, how is that your fault? It expired, like, what the hell? <laughs> I just went to the DMV and they told me I need my social security card, my passport, and a whole bunch of other crap. So there's something called a real ID. You know, some more California stuff. So I can't even renew my ID because I need this stuff. It is, it is what it is. It's life. All right, guys. We are effectively at the end of the video. If you get, Don't forget to check out who's going to be the winner. Maybe it could be you. So check out my Instagram to see the winner of the M3. I'm going to be selecting a comment through this comment selector. It's, it's pretty much going to make it fair for everyone to where even if you commented multiple times, it won't select the person that commented multiple times. It would it would grab one comment per user and select it out of that single video. So it's going to be completely fair, anybody in the world. If you guys want to see if you're the winner, make sure to check out my Instagram down below. Best of luck to all you guys. I'm super excited to meet the winner of the car. I'm really hoping the winner actually takes the car so I can actually come and meet him, not just send him cash over Venmo or PayPal. Like, I hope to God the, the winner is like someone local because it would just be a lot nicer. It'd be a really cool experience. But anywho, best of luck to everybody. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Good luck, y'all. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.